Hi, I'm Jim McCann with ShopSmith. Today I'm going to show you how to change the drive belt. Just need a couple of tools for this. You need a screwdriver, Phillips or a slot, depending on what screws you have. And you need the ShopSmith 532nd Allen wrench to remove the hooks. Now, when you get into the headstock, It'll need to be at high speed to make it easy to remove the old belt. So I'm going to turn this up to high speed. Turn that off. Do that before taking the belt cover off. A couple of screws, one in the back, one in the front. Older machines will have as many as five screws, two in the front, two in the back, one on the top. Now, that comes apart, this comes out, now make sure and unplug your machine, make it safe. Now this is pretty much a dirty mess, we're going to get into the motor sheave down here into disconnecting the uh, control sheave up here that's going to be difficult to see so to make it easier for you to visualize we have this cutaway headstock uh, just pretend there's a hole right here that I'm going to reach into we're already up to high speed you can see the belt is all the way down in the um, control sheave on the idler shaft. The motor belt is out to the circumference of the motor sheaves. So that's, that's the easiest way to work on it. First thing you need to do is to get a hold of the motor sheaves and just spread them apart a little bit and be able to work that belt off of there. Now with the belt loose, reach inside the hole and what you're doing is you're using your thumb to push this leaf spring down and your index finger to roll the loop off of the speed control quadrant. Just like that. Now you can raise the belt up a little bit that lets you reach in here, push the sheave closed, work the belt out, and it goes in between the end of the control sheave and the speed control quadrant comes out. There's the old belt, get the new belt, and it goes in just the same way. Not like a sanding belt, it doesn't care which way it goes on. This goes on opposite the way the one, first one came off. And I'll reach in here. If you pull down a little bit on the sheave, it, or pull down a little bit on the belt, it holds the sheave against the speed control. And then you can push the, push the spring forward with your index finger, curl your thumb around, and push the loop over the spring and it's connected. Now, pull open your sheave and hook the, hook the belt into the motor. And now you're ready to run it with the new belt on. The next trick is to use the sanding disc to get it down to a reasonable speed to start it. Don't ever want to start it at fast speed like this, even with nothing on it. Always turn it to slow, at least down to D, before turning the motor off. So we get rid of that old thing. Now, as you rotate the sanding disc, you can turn the speed dial down 
It works pretty fast. You have to be patient. Don't force the speed dial. But you can turn the speed dial as you rotate the sanding disc. Then you get down there, about D or E, you're ready to start the machine. Take the sanding disc off. Push that out of the way. You've got to put the new or the old Shopsmith logo plate back on. Now this is held on with a leaf spring. You can see it moving. Hook the bottom into the casting. These two pins go in between uh, the holes. And sometimes you can just push this down with your thumb. Other times you need to get a lot screwdriver. Just push it down until that snaps into place. Your belt cover goes on. Screw holes line up. And you're ready to work for another 10, 15 years with your new drive belt. I'm Jim McCain with Shopsmith. Happy woodworking.